Good morning, everyone. Leslie Schreiner. So this is Charlie Brown, and I owe Jamie a video on gluing uh, natural ears. I'm going to be going away for a week, so it's a good time for me to glue his down so that they will stay in position uh, while I'm gone. Now, what can happen with the natural ears sometimes is they get a crease on the inside. It's not exactly the same crease they get from when their ears flop backwards when they're when they're playing but you can see this crease here which is the natural crease that's forming on both sides um, that crease is what contributes to the ear sticking to the side instead of uh, breaking and and being nice uh, to the side of the head so I'm not as practiced at this as I am with posting regular ears, uh, I mean cropped ears. So um, if anybody else watching has suggestions, who has more experience, I am really open to any other resources, uh, suggestions, do's and don'ts. It's a learning process for me too. So uh, what I'm gonna be trying to do though today is I'm gonna try to glue the ear in the exact opposite of where that crease is. So I'm gonna take some of the skin glue that I use for the uh, cropped ears, the Torbot bonding cement, and I'm gonna lightly put it on either side of that crease. Not too far, I don't wanna bind the, you know, glue the whole ear together, but um, I'm gonna do that on both sides because it needs to get tacky. Oh, I know, it's, it's chilly. It's a little like putting rubber cement on your on yourself. It's kind of cold. Sometimes they react to it a little bit. And he hasn't had as much handling uh, about his ears as the as the cropped ones. That's um, something that doesn't get talked about too much in the pros and cons. I'm not going to get too involved in in that philosophical conversation, but I will tell you that the dogs that have their ears cropped get so much more socialization to handling. Um, and, uh, you know, necessarily because uh, their, their ears get manipulated a lot more. So, um, sometimes the natural eared puppies are more fussy because they have had less done. So, I'm waiting for this to get nice and tacky. It needs, uh, the tackier it gets, the better it will stick. And since this is kind of a, a, a pressure place, if it's... Uh, doesn't stick good, it won't stay. All right. So I'm, I'm watching that crease. I can still see it, even though I've got the ear out and it's not, it's not folded over. I can still see the crease right here. So I'm gonna, this is a little bit of a tricky part, reach over and squeeze it. I want the rest of the ear leather to be facing forward. I'm gonna hold this for a moment so it can set really good. Yeah, good boy, Charlie Brown. Yeah, he's a good man. He's my good man, yeah. You're being a good boy. Um, I know people have mentioned in some of these videos before, oh my gosh, this puppy is so good. My puppy will never be this good. Well, this puppy is pretty wiggly and pretty squirmy and not that easy to hold still but that's why I put him in a place where he's not used to. He's actually on a um, on my on my stove, my range, because it's a good height for me to work. It's meant to be a height for people to work on. He's off the floor, so he's out of his normal territory. It's like, oh, this is a place where things are different. So he's a little more open to um, a different uh, set of uh, experiences than he would be if he was on my lap or on the floor or somewhere where he's used to being more in control of himself. Okay, so that one, that one's staying for now. That's step one. So now we're gonna do this side, same thing. Hold it up straight so I see that crease, fold it over, and then lightly pinch it to hold it so it sticks real good. And uh, yeah, good boy, good boy. Yeah, yeah, that's a good man. 
Yeah. Now, I'd like to say that's all you have to do, but this puppy runs around and has a real life and has a sibling, and this probably wouldn't be enough to hold it. It's enough to, to get it doing what I want it to be doing, but not to, not to really hold it. So, what I'm gonna do for that is now I'm gonna glue the end of the ear to his, to his cheek. This is exactly why I have never trimmed the hair on the end of the natural puppy's ear, because the glue sticks way better hair to hair than skin to skin, um, in my experience. So, it's just a matter though of, um, you know, making sure it's really tacky. So first I'm gonna put, put some glue in the hair here. And then I'm gonna bring that forward and actually touch it just a little, but that's just so I can see where that spot reaches to if I bring it forward. So that's the place I'm gonna glue it to. So I need to put a little glue on that side too. It's like rubber cement, you gotta glue both sides. And I'm gonna do that on the other side also. Um, each of these steps where you're letting the glue dry, do it as long as you can. It's tempting because you get in a hurry, we get impatient and we say, oh, I just wanna get this done. That's actually a little where I am right now because <laughs> I have a number of other things I'm accomplishing today. But the, the few extra minutes that you take in the beginning to, um, to let that glue really set will save you so much time in the long run. So don't get impatient. Just really give it a chance to do, to do its thing. Hold on, I know, buddy, I know. So this isn't really enough time, but so the video doesn't run 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pretend actually that five minutes has elapsed because that would probably be perfect. And I'm gonna squeeze these two together real good. So now it's glued at the crease up here and it's glued at the face to hold it. Squeeze those real good. All right. Now, if I have a puppy and just one puppy and he's not living with anybody else and not playing with anybody else, this is probably good. However, if you've got other siblings or other dogs or the, you know, you might also go ahead and add a little tape underneath across where you've glued it to also stabilize it and hold it in place. Especially at first, just like with the cropped ears, the, um, the skin glue makes them want to scratch and shake their heads. So to hold in the work that you've done, you really might want to just go ahead and put a little tape on there to hold it. To really give it a chance to set so you don't have to hold it by hand your whole time. Your whole time. Now, what would be really smart for me to do is to give this puppy a bowl of food or even better, a chew bone that's gonna last him a good long time, that's gonna be super interesting to him. That way he's thinking about that instead of messing with his ears while the glue is still setting. So that's my suggestion for that. And um, like I said, please drop me some more ideas. Uh, if you have methods that work really well for you, I, I am still kind of work in progress on um, on, on the natural ears. So let me know what works for you. Let me know what doesn't work for you. And um, yeah, then we can make sure that the natural ears look nice too. Okay, thanks everyone. Hi, Patricia. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.